Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Chip McCallahan's European Vacation, and today we are starting with sauce for the goose. I'll bring the sauce and you bring the goose. We're heading downtown, making moves. Is this a single screener? It looks like it may be. So, let's check it out. 111 seconds to get four chips. And here we go. Green key. And, okay, so, and then we have to get the yellow key. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, so I need to be chipped for this. No, I need to be, okay, so I need to be chipped to clear out the dirt, but I need to be Melinda to pass through. Oh, man, hopefully I did not waste the thing there. Uh, pop this off. Okay. Um, all right, this is going to be, okay, then we get these chips. Yep, 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 I see the problem. I did, in fact, waste this because now I have to come down here, get this. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do this again and not waste our recessed walls this time. So now I'm going to get both our keys and I'm going to go ahead and turn into Melinda. And Melinda's going to do some pushing here. Okay. And let's see. What is... What is she going to do? So I think we need to turn... Well, no. We can't really turn into chip just yet, I don't think. Let's go ahead and pop this... O okay, we can't pop it open. Uh, we have to turn the things off. So maybe I should have done that first. Maybe I should have turned the fire off. Um, and I don't want to be chip again just yet. I want to save him for the end. Let's go ahead and push this off of here. I don't see fire going under it currently. Okay, yeah, it would be animated if it was... Okay, yes, I'm safe. Very good. So we want to push this one through to here. There we go. Now we have only two chips left. And we got to be very careful about how we do this. I think I can go ahead and use up the green... No, I can't use up the green key. Because I need to... Green keys are not permanent for Melinda. So let's go ahead. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, so I need to be Melinda on the other side somehow. So I now cannot... Yeah, I can't get out of here. What? Okay. Okay. We need to figure out the order of operations here. First of all, I need to go up and do this. Is there any way on to... Okay, I need to... I see what I need to do with those two blocks. I was missing that earlier. So yeah, I need to go ahead and get these. And then I need to become Melinda. So that I can go up here. And these need to go in here. There we go. Okay. And then... Get these. Push this off of here push this all the way to over here and get this there we go and there we go oh yeah we let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and put that there give ourselves the 1k at the end i'm seeing how it works now because now as a uh, chip i ought to be able right to go through here and then hold these down there it is okay that's what I was missing before. And now I can go through here, reward myself with a thousand points, and it's done. Very good. Sauce for the goose. Uh, we got the sauce. And now it's time to cook ourselves some untitled goose lorange. There we go. Hope you don't get foiled on the next level. So is the idea to not pick up the steel foil? TNT time. Okay. So we have to blow up... All right, here we go. We got to blow our way to the exit. And we have four bombs with which to do this. 100 seconds, four bombs. And we have to be very careful not to touch any... Well, now we can touch a wall. Because we got enough bombs to... There we go. Oh, oh. Um, that creates a situation. Well, let's go ahead then and... Maybe we want to turn some... Okay, I think we can make it down to the corner from here. Okay, yeah. 
So I should be able to do this pretty reasonably. I think there are probably multiple ways to the exit even, but... Yeah, there we go. Oh... Okay, this is gonna be the problem right here. Okay, so if I do the steel... Alright. Okay, it doesn't turn... It do Okay, doing the steel doesn't turn... Okay, there's nowhere for me to put this, I don't think. Because if I do this right here... Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna block off the exit. I couldn't get there anyway. There's no way there. And I blew up the exit. That was... That was done. Okay, so I think the... I think the solution might be in the bottom core somewhere. But first, I need to get to... I'm going to set it right here. Okay, yeah. I'm going to set that right there. Okay, good. I'm safe. So... I'm going to go ahead and... Switch and drop this. Because I don't want to accidentally turn an important wall into steel. So I'm going to go ahead and take... I'm going to put the bomb right here hopefully that doesn't blow up the exit i'm not i don't think it will okay yes i am correct on that and now i can just put one here and that should blow up just fine it should blow up the fire and allow me access to the exit well done chip and i even made it out with one bomb left over i should get some bonus points for that i'm gonna go talk to hr about it Quick Thinking by Scott Feeney. Here we go. So we got to think quickly. 15 seconds quickly, to be exact. What is the quick thinking here? Um, okay, let's just... Okay. Oh, no! Okay, well, some of these are good. Okay, so I got myself killed. This is a good one. How about this one? That gave us some time. That took away our time. But that one added time. But that one... That one also added time. Okay, now I want to see which ones... Okay, that one added time... 44 seconds might be enough to do this, but I need to... Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I need to actually find the button. Okay, now I don't have to think quickly at all. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, gosh. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the glider man. Oh, it came after me because I was greedy. Oh, uh, you got greedy, Martin. Okay, so where are the good ones? They're right here. There's one right here, and I think over here as well. That one actually was a bummer, I think. Okay, so lots of time now. The only problem here is... Let's hold... Okay, yeah. It's going to come after me basically no matter what. So I'm going to make a quick run now. Oh, that time I was smart about getting it. But I got to stay... Okay, good. All right, the ghost is going to come for me. Here comes the ghost of Christmas past. But I'm going to hide from it and be a smart guy. I need... Oh, I was going to say, I need a red key. And I got it right there. Okay, so now... What do I want to do here? Okay, so... I want to push this. Okay, yeah. That gets me going that direction. Alright, and then through here. Go Bitbuster! That wasn't too bad a level. And once you get all the once you get all the clocks coming out of the first area, you've got plenty of time to do it. Uh, okay, there we go. That wasn't that was a decently that was a decently formatted level. I enjoyed it. Monty Hall, as in uh, let's make a deal. Monty Hall is that the idea here? By C. Scott Davis. So let's go ahead and do. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot going on here, but I'm going to take this first. All right. Let's make our way through the... Oh, gosh. I let out the guys. Okay, so once I have no chips left to get, I'll need to come here. Okay, so there is a bomb maze to navigate. There's a lot... Okay, I get a lot of time here, but I think I'll be okay for the most part. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that off, whatever that is. Whatever he's cloning there... Let's go ahead and make that not a thing, please. Um, oh, boy. Well, that was yucky. Uh, maybe I'll want to go in there from the bottom next time. But yeah, I'm going to take that red. That's not too bad. Okay, let's get... Oh, yeah. Took the wrong path that time. So I want to get around the way here. Okay, yeah. The fewer things it clones, probably the better. 
but it looks I don't think these things were the things that were cloned so I did not see that that was fire because I am not very intelligent okay let's try a different room let's try the yellow room well nuts <laughs> um, I have a feeling I probably don't well I can still go in there so now we're playing as Melinda Melinda is taking the Pepsi challenge now so let's see am I doing this correctly if I go up into there don't I trap myself if I go up into there yeah I don't even have force boots yet oh my gosh what am I thinking uh, yellow may not be the place to start let's keep I don't know let's keep going with red I'm feeling red it's a red kind of day let's go ahead and let them out that was really stupid okay we will figure this one out yeah there's a lot going on here but it's a fun level it looks like okay this is not save this for the end oh I see the ball is cloning fireballs down there in the gravel room so let's go ahead and put that to an end uh, so is that room just gonna fill up with fireballs okay I don't really see the point of going in here except for bonus points so I'm gonna okay I'm gonna go ahead I was gonna follow them through there but that's obviously not what I want to be doing okay I think I want to I think I probably want to clear out the bombs okay yeah you kind of have to get through this as quickly as possible but I have a feeling that it's just for bonus points so I'm not super concerned about it don't want to don't want to raise the suspicions of the thief but I think I might have to get I think I might have to get my stuff else but there's only there's only the one room to go in oh oh I see I see okay fire boots right there okay I didn't check I did not go in behind the teeth and check up on that okay well that probably would have been smart to do so no chips left so now I go down into that one room I think I want to probably keep my fire boots right it's possible to do so so why not let's go ahead then and all right oh that's it okay you just go to the red door okay so maybe every room has a way for you to beat it but you can beat it one of three ways it's kind of a fielder's choice there I see so you play the red room, there's a way to do it. You figure out the yellow room, there's a way to do it. Either way, a teleporter is going to take you to the end of the level. I see why the setup is the way it is now. I appreciate that level. Well, maybe sometime maybe sometime I'll go back on my own time and try to beat that one uh, one of the many other ways. Gold Rush by Joshua Bone. Here we are playing as Melinda. I have a feeling we're going to have to roll the bowling balls over the dirt. Uh, let's see what that does for us. So I've got four bowling balls. And, okay, all right. So if I roll it down the... If I roll it down the right spot the first time, then I have three bowling balls left to do this. So I kind of want to figure out where to do that. Let's... Let's... Okay. Oh, so one of these is going to... Okay, so let's see here. I can go this way... Oh, this is a, ooh, this is a lane for sure, but I don't think I can get all the, so one of these, I bet it's just one of these anyway, and this up here is kind of your reward for figuring out which one it is. So if we go, I'm going to go one, two, three to the right from the bombs. Let's see. Let's see if that gets us all the way down. Almost, but not quite. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out sort of by, well, pretty much guessing. It's going to be guessing pretty much all the way. Uh, so now I just get to see basically sight unseen, which lane is going to do the trick here. It was perhaps too much to hope that it was that one. So I have a few choices. So you have a few, you have a few margins for error actually. Uh... Oh, this is the one right here. So it's the fifth one from the left. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to take the time and I'm going to do it. Since I figured it out so quickly, I'm going to go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. There was nothing ahead of it, right? This was a straight lane all the way to the end. See, Melinda oofs just like Chip. 
Now that's what I call equality. Okay, now we get all the chips though, and we have three bowling balls to spend on bonus points. Just like the redemption games of old. Spend your, go roll the ball down the correct lane, then spend all your money at Dave and Buster's. <coughs> All right, and boom, and boom, and boom. Bowling balls for days. Welcome to Bowling for Dollars. 8,000 points, mercy sakes alive. I bet that's an, an improvement for me. No, that is actually not an improvement of any type. Great, wonderful. Let's fit in, I'm thinking, depending on how this next one goes, I'm thinking the next one is gonna be the last one for the day trial and error question mark i already called a video that how dare you make that the name of a level joshua bone i stole that first so okay this is actually not trial and error it looks like zero 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 one 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 is there a hint around here somewhere oh it's a pattern so if i read this let's just go down here and see what this does do i die if i go down here i bet i do Oh, I'm just trapped in the bear traps. Okay. So, let's see. Um, zero, 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 nine, zero, one, one, one. So, zero, zero, zero. So, are these top ones binary? No, they're not. Two, 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 two. So zero 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 blank 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 three five so what could that possibly mean zero 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 blank 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 three five zero 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 blank 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 three five zero one one two three five blank 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 four five so if I go down here, oh, but I can't get back up. Decipher the pattern on the north wall of the room where you start. So there's our hint. There's a lot going on here. So I have to basically push the blocks down onto the right three. And there is not a lucky way to do it. There is a very set way to do it. And I figure that out by deciphering the code. So what is the code? Zero, zero six zeros three blanks and three fives so so this is zero one one two three five zero one two three five okay do the do the columns add up somehow like this is seven and this is ten uh do we want to zero? So, okay. This start here, this is zero. Then you add one. Then you add zero. Add one, add zero, add one, add one, add two. So it's zero, z okay. Zero, one, one, two, three, five. Okay. So first we add one, then we add none, then we add one, then we add one again, and then we add two. Zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. Two plus three is five. Three plus five is eight. Okay. Three. So if three plus five is eight, then do I want to drop one on zero eight? Okay, let's see if that works first. Okay, so I popped one there. Let's see if that works out. Let's see if I've deciphered the hint correctly so far. This will just take me down. I'll have to die and eat a lot. So yes, I've got one correct. Okay. So, so far I'm right. 
So we push one down to eight. Okay, so we've got the math so far. And now, five plus eight is 13. So it's gonna be one, three. Okay, it's a nice little math sequence train, okay. And then eight plus 13 is 21. So 13 plus 21 is 34. 21 plus 34 is 55, so yes. So we push the other one down to, okay. Well, that's really clever. You can do math puzzles with this, with this little floor riding business. And now we go down here and I feel pretty confident that I'll be walking into the exit in just a second. There it is, ha ha ha. Even improved my time, so I must have figured out the puzzle faster than I did last time. Well, that's a nice little feather in my cap. We're gonna call that a day, and I will see y'all next time, hopefully for more puzzles like that. That was actually kind of fun to work out live and in person.